So you want to know how to repair your popcorn ceiling. You have a break in it. The ceiling I'm going to show you in this video was broken because somebody walked up in the attic overhead and put his foot through the ceiling below. And so this is how you repair a popcorn ceiling. You scrape off the popcorn and then you repair the torn sheetrock just as you normally would. Now in this video, we're not going to replace the popcorn, but I'm gonna show you the point at which in the video where you would reapply your popcorn. I'm going to remove the popcorn on this ceiling, but the repair is still the same, regardless of the fact that I'm not reapplying the popcorn. So get your popcorn and enjoy. Friends, thank you for watching my channel. I just want to remind you if you need wallpaper, go to www.wallpaperboulevard.com. Tell them Spencer sent you. In fact, if you use my hashtag, Spencer Colgan is wallpaper, they'll be sure to give you 10% off at your checkout. No matter how much you order, they have a wide selection of wallpaper. Check it out. we have a penetration of the ceiling. So what do you do with this? Well, I'm gonna show you what I'll do to it. I'm first going to try to get that popcorn off. Okay, now you can see the sheetrock manifesting itself as I wet it, right? Look at that, it's absorbing the water. So I expect that popcorn to come right down. And, We'll be taking the popcorn down anyway. But to make that repair, if you were going to re put the popcorn back, you would have to clear that popcorn away. Okay, so let's give that water some time to set in there and that popcorn will come right off. Okay, so this is about 10 minutes later. clear the way for a nice repair. Okay, let's start the repair. I took my knife and I cut a square, scoring it several times to make sure that I'm penetrated all the way through. Okay, now we will remove this broken drywall.
We're videoing. Then this isn't Chris. We're videoing. Yes. That's that. Red button? Good button, yeah. So this is day two on our ceiling repair. And now we're going to extend the repair to include a radius double the actual repair. Okay? We've doubled it. Because if you want this repair to be unnoticeable. You have to feather out the repair so that there's no hump. You see, you create an illusion. You made a repair, so there is a hump. That square is a hump. But when you feather it out, what happens is that the light coming from the ceiling, as the light travels toward the repair, it stops at the hump and creates a dark shadow on the other side of it. Just very much like a sunset and the shadow behind a mountain. The light's coming this way, it's going to accentuate the hump here and here and even over there. So when you feather it out, meaning you bring 
the surface down. You build on it. And then you bring it all the way out to here and you gradually reduce the hump you've made and you feather it out over to here. The light can't get trapped. It sort of does this hmm. and sails right over the reduced hill you've made. In fact, you've eliminated the hill and you've made a very gradual ramp. And that's why we feather it out. That's why you don't just do a repair here and then that's it. When you go into a commercial building and you see lots of light coming into the building and you look on the sides of the walls that have been finished by the sheetrock finishers, you'll see that they don't feather out their, their seams. You'll just see a bump every 48 inches, which is the distance between every seam on a vertically installed board of sheetrock. But in residential work, especially a do-it-yourselfer who's concerned about the final effect, he or she will feather it out so that you don't see the seams. Okay. So I've scraped off the popcorn and now I'm going to start the repair. I'm going to feather it out starting right on top of the repair. Because the repair is going to dictate how thick the layer of repair mud is going to be. So we start here. Now we've made a massive hill. Massive. But while I'm doing this, I'm feeling that hill and I know what kind of pressure I have to put on it in order to reduce it. What I'm really trying to do is not to feel it at all. Because if I don't feel it, that means I've hidden the hill. And if I hid the hill, it won't trap the light, causing shadows. So I built it up and now I'm reducing it. And if you look at the angle at which I'm applying the mud now, my angle has changed. I've reduced the angle of the blade onto the ceiling to about 8 degrees because I don't want to take so much off, I just want to spread it evenly. And so my angle is very short. Okay. Because I've already pulled enough off of it. Remember I said I could feel it. Now, we'll make another hill on the side of it. By the way, this will get four coats all together. We'll get another one to make it nice and smooth. And then the last one will be just to fill in any imperfections. Okay. Very low angle. Oh, I felt the bump. See? Just put the camera on the on my hand. So I had my mud here. But what happens when I want to spread it all over my knife? Do I do this? No. I do this. So you take your knife, you start at the edge so that it's where you want it. Yuck. 
That's not where I wanted it. I won't edit that out. I don't know, maybe I will. Okay. I'm just pressing lightly. Very lightly. take any more off. You got, you, you're doing the ceiling, right? Yeah. Very good. Do this for five minute marks. You can get it all done in one day. Nice and easy, light pressure, light pressure. Okay. Okay, now, take a look, let them see the repair. You see my lines that I made? Leave them. It's a lot easier to get rid of those lines when they're dry than it is to get rid of them now. No need to get rid of them now. Okay, you can shut it off and we'll come back to it. Okay, last coat.
That's the repair. Now I'm taking this popcorn down. But this would be the time to let it dry, sand it if necessary, and to reintegrate your popcorn into this area if you were to restore the popcorn effect. This would be the time. This is done. Let me bring you up closer. It took four coats altogether. Now the trick is let it dry. Let it dry. Put some fans on it and call it a day.